Hey everybody, Player Cows here once more with Let's Play Dance Wars 8 in the Shoe Campaign. In the last part, we did the Battle of Chang Barn, successfully escaping from South South's forces. In what is probably one of the more famous of Liu Bei's early battles, the escape from South South. Now we've to Wu, son of the Battle of Chiabu. And that's apparently how it's pronounced, I don't know whatever. Join up with Sun Quan and meet South South's forces in battle at Chiabu. Or Chiabu. Enjoy the success of their plan and sink the enemy fleet. I will point out now, before this even begins, I have had to lower my settings. Apparently my laptop does not like this battle at all. So, um, I'll see what happens. But you might see, well, one, you guys see very crap models. I'm very sorry on that front. However, you might end up seeing um, a few issues. I don't know what's with the belt, but every time it just seems to not like one particular section. And it just gets really choppy. At bits where it just stops. So, hope that's fixed. Anyway, go ahead. Let's go. Liu Bei managed to shake free from the pursuit of Cao Cao's massive army that fled to Jiaco. There, Zhuge Liang proposed that they form an alliance with Sun Quan, agreeing to deliver the message to Wu personally. At the same time, a letter from Cao Cao arrived at Wu, demanding that they surrender. His opinion was divided within Wu as to whether they should agree to Cao Cao's demands or oppose them. While the majority was leading towards surrender, the Grand Commander, Zhou Yu, and Lu Su advocated resistance. Thanks to Lu Su's proposal and the efforts of Juge Liang, Sun Quan decided to stand and fight. Liu Bei met with Sun Quan, and they formed an alliance against Cao Cao. Cao Cao wasted little time and advanced his massive fleet down the Changjian from Jing province. Determined to meet this advance, Zhuge Liang worked together with Zhou Yu and Lu Su to come up with a plan. They would use time, the terrain, and personnel in order to defeat Cao Cao. Zhao Yun, Zhuge Liang, and Liu Bei were about to display their might and ambition at Shibu. Now before I even start, I'm going to tell you now, there is no camp screen. Make sure you're ready before you go into the battle itself. So, um, we have options between Zhao Yun, Liu Bei, and Zhuge Liang. Your level gets bumped up to 18, so don't worry on that front. Now, I know it's been a while since I last Lu used Liu Bei. Uh, I believe Liu Bei I haven't used since the start, Zhao Yun, Hulao Gate, and Zhuge Liang, a Chia Chang Ban. I basically, I don't want to take Liu Bei, I want to take Zhao Yun, because I prefer Zhao Yun's moveset. I also believe in the next battle you get access to Liu Bei, but if not, I'll use him soon after that. So, we're going to take Zhao Yun. Uh, weapons. Do we have anything better than Dragon Fang? No. I'm taking the Dragon Tail as it is. What's our recovery do? Ah, oh, nice. You know, it's because we haven't got the weapons. It's gonna. We got to leave away from it. I actually thought I had better weapons than that, so. Yeah. Uh, grip skills. I'm gonna get rid of the quick learner for Havoc, and we're gonna keep accuracy, health boost, and health spring. Uh, health spring? No, attack boost. So. No camp screen, get straight into the battle, and I'll explain what happens after that. However, there is a cutscene, I'm gonna be quiet and I'll just talk to you after that. I must realize my ambition to serve the people. So you are Master Juga Liang, the famed strategist. Master Zhou Yu, all is as I outlined in the scroll I sent you. Oh, so formal. We are to talk of fighting together. We must be more open. Isn't that right, my lord? <laughs> exactly right, Lu Su. I read your scroll. A proposal that will certainly be of benefit to both yourselves, and to us. Blunt Cao Cao's momentum, and buy us some time. Advantageous to us all. But, that is not the entire story. Ah. 
unlike Wu. Master Liu Bei lacks a land which he can call his own. Perhaps obtaining such a foothold is your true goal. Come now. We cannot expect all secrets to be shared. Can we not turn a blind eye? <laughs> well, this alliance would certainly be good for Wu. The battle shall take place at Cherbi. We shall use our intellect and courage to sink Cao Cao's great fleet. Zhou Yu is a perceptive man. I wonder how much he sees of the truth behind this alliance. But, for now, this is the only path we can take. We must claim victory here first, before all else. Soundtell's forces have landed in the south. They appear to be heading for the altar. The altar is under attack. Zhuge Liang is in danger. We must hurry to his aid. So yeah, that's how this battle goes. And yes, I know they all look rich. I gotta get quite quick. So they keep they they, they play with the time based thing uh, for this battle. It's it's literally if you kill the enemies that come along, it will succeed. I don't think I don't think you really aren't dying is the big position. So it's literally nothing that's gonna make this fun. Oh, you are quite impressive. I shall lend you a hand. There's really nothing that can make this plan fail. You are not going to you have to succeed. Oh, 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 to be fair, there's actually an issue of having this where this game is as a player. Um, this way six, I'll be afraid for the uh, it kind of avoided this issue. Then they had a lot more issues beside this. Where the battles are well, scripted, but not as many scripted as uh, Seven. In Seven was a freaking train. Seven, every single battle had to go the way the villain wanted it to go. Now, another kidding. Every single time. If you didn't do it a particular way, it wouldn't let you advance. There was extremely few times where you should really change the way it went. Ah. So yeah. you would face me in battle, would you? Run the Very well. Shall we be your leader? You're a hero of the land. A true hero of the land. Why kill a hundred? I can't afford the day would go. I'm disappointed at killing a hundred people. Real life, eh, yeah, boy, kill a hundred people. Yeah. And the game's actually behaving in some It appears that there are complications with the fire attack. Perhaps the enemy has seen through Hong Kong's plan to link their ships together. Yep, it's not like this section. Oh! Uh, what the? Where is he? Get here! 
There he is. Something away, you coward. So yeah, this battle is extremely simple. We've just got the first part of it. That's phase, that's phase one of the battle then. Um, we're going to head to phase two now. So I'm probably going to see you after this one comes. Yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you in a bit, folks. We require two things in order for the fire attack to work. One is the southeastern winds, and the other is the linking of the ships. Hey guys, welcome back to Last Video Show Ace 8. The linking of the ships is to prevent them from drifting apart. I entrusted that task to Palm Tong, but... I am the Lurk Chaos, and we're still doing a part 2 on TV. Uh, you should be getting this same day as part 1, if not this one. In the, last, in the last part, we did the first part of the battle, and this part we're going to do phase 2, as I call it, which is more or less uh, securing Hang Tom. Make sure he's okay. And uh, this bit is. What is my finicky? Amazing. You have gained my respect. Just in the nick of time. Do you think you could give me a hand? Okay, there we go. It's not like we have to kill you at five times. No, I have made a father of myself, haven't I? Sure. I am saved thanks to you. Come and face me. You shall be defeated. This is the finishing blow. You shall be defeated. Really? I'm being put on the defense. Finishing I must fall back for the time being. I've asked like the buzz. You're being ready for your booty. Oh, so give it all I have. Your booty. Where it is, I withdraw. 
Okay. It is time to link these ships together. Then our plan will be complete. Okay. Jingo Yang has finished his preparations. Prepare the fire ship. I guess like a random intro and outro. 
Yeah, the, the, my recording software doesn't like uh, when there's a fire attack going on. I guess we're some wide turn power tennis. I say power tennis. Uh, <laughs> you'll probably see why. Yeah, it's really annoying when there's so many fire attacks in the game. So this section, this section still looks jumpy. My heart's gone. These flames shall be the beacons to light your way. We must move on, my lord. The next battle has already begun. I can't speak in full sentences. What? You're leaving already? My apologies, my lady. I am sure we shall meet again. Hmm. Found them. My lord. Ah, Shushu. You changed quickly. That day, when we first fought together, and now, seeing the battlefield from Wei's encampment, I realized that I have been lying to myself. The place I should be is here. I am no master of strategy, I fear. I am quite naive, in fact. Yet... Make use of me, my lord. I, too, wish to light your way to glory. Well said. I have been waiting for you. From today, you walk with me. The vigor of these great men was reflected in the river, as was their wisdom displayed by the flames that enveloped the battlefield. The alliance between Liu Bei and Sun Quan had earned a great victory over Cao Cao, leaving him with little choice but to halt his expansion south. Although, simply driving off Cao Cao was not a great leap forward that Liu Bei needed to take. Zhuge Lian looked from the opening of In Wu, and ordered his men to occupy Jing province. Liu Bei asked to borrow Jing province from Wu until he could obtain a land of his own. Although Sun Quan disagreed at first, he was later persuaded due to the intervention of Liu Su. 
Around the same time, Lu Su, who advised Liu Bei at Jiang Yi, rejoined him. In addition, Pang Tong, Wang Zong, and Wei Yang came to serve Liu Bei as well. Looking to take the next step forward, Liu Bei continued to amass strength. In addition, as their relations with Wu continued to strengthen, a marriage proposal was brought before Liu Bei. And so, Liu Bei was married to Sun Quan's younger sister, Sun Xiang Xiang. as you think you do. Just take a good look at them. Those are the faces of young people in love. You be happy. Excellent. You might be right. So far, all is according to plan. But my lord, the next step I fear will be the hardest for you to take. So yeah, that's probably gonna be a random moment of me saying uh, bye. I was, I was considering editing this down to a certain part, but you know, it's not gonna happen now. But um, that's the end of the main part. Uh, if you want, I'm going to have another episode up of like an editorial, I guess, just to go over the history of the battle. There's kind of a lot there, kind of not, but it's a lot to go over. But yeah, um, if you don't stick around for that, I will see you next week for the Battle of Chengdu. Which is where we start getting a foothold for Liu Bei. But um, I will point out, I guess, finding Zushu is kind of the major thing. Uh, I actually love getting him because it makes this battle a lot easier. Because you have another officer in your hand. Same as um, the other Zerg Rebellion when you get Zhang Jiao. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed this part, everybody. And I'll see you next time for more in Dynasty Warriors 8. I have been the Play of Chaos. This has been the Shu campaign in Dynasty Warriors 8. And I'll see you next time for more when we return in Dynasty Warriors 8. As always, folks, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.